sow it in Glen Rannoch, which is a combination of those two, two Scottish locations that I mentioned last week. And as you can see, this is the north of the map, so we've got some real heavy, dense snowfall going on here. And that's, um, that's something that is uh, specific to, to different uh, areas of the map, so the more elevation you get in the world, you'll get uh, thicker snow. As you get a bit more south, you'll get like less snow, but maybe more frost, more wet roads, that kind of thing. So there's, everything makes sense in yeah. terms of where, where the snow is. It does look beautiful as well. I think that's one of the biggest things is like all the little details. Because I, I want to kind of get into the water because I know one of the biggest features is that the lake mm. itself is frozen over. And I know there's been like a lot of questions of people going, is is all the water in the game going to be frozen or is it just going to be the lake? How's it going to play out? So I, I think you'll see you'll see tonight. It's kind of a mix, and like Ben says, it's all about really the altitude of the of the particular area of the world, which determines whether the water um, is uh, is frozen or not. But it also, that, I think that really helps gameplay because it's it's super fun to, to, to go drifting out on a, on a frozen lake. Um, but we also still want to have gameplay where you can splash through lakes, splash through rivers as well. Um, and uh, you really get all of that uh, in the winter season. And I think eagle-eyed viewers will, will recognize this, as Ben said, from, from last week. Um, we're at the sort of going Finn and Viaduct. This is, I think, I think we were right up at the top of this mountain that we're, we're kind of at the foot of uh, Racing right that now. giant hovercraft. Um, we, with the, the hovercraft and, and the other stuff. Um, <laughs> um, and, but it's just the perfect place to show how completely the world changes, uh, you know, from season to season, and particularly autumn to winter. Winter, you know, last week we had all those really sort of striking reds and oranges and, yeah. uh, and browns, uh, and now, you know, the world is carpeted in white. Um, and like this is what I'm talking about. I think this um, this completely different, really sort of stark aesthetic is just it's, it's stunning to drive in. It's stunning to look at, um, and it's you know it's why this is totally my, my favorite season. Yeah, I also think just one thing to touch on just before we kind of kind of go into it even more is guys do remember this is a developer version of the of the game, so there could be bugs, there could be crashes, <laughs> as we found out last week. Like hopefully, <laughs> it hasn't happened. Uh, that's happened a couple of times, but um, we'll just kind of be taking a look at everything. So Ben, I, this, I, I know right, you're going to hate me for asking this question again. <laughs> it's my normal thing, because one of the yeah. things, like looking through the world, okay, is one of the biggest changes from season to season that you can really see is the trees and how they've changed. Yeah, yeah. Right, so how's that um, working <laughs> in season? So, so, Sorry. So as you can see, uh, they've, they've lost all their leaves. Uh, that's the thing that happens in winter. After you work so uh, hard <laughs> after, we, after we After we spend so much time getting the leaves looking just right, we uh, strip them all off in winter. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously a, it's a very different look. Uh, again, it sort of plays into what Ralph was saying. And also, I think, you know, we've heard quite a few people saying, what did you learn from the development on, on Blizzard Mountain? Yeah. And um, you know, is, is winter just like the experience we had in Blizzard? It's totally not. Right, it's a brand new uh, visual as well. I, I would say in that um, obviously Australia has all those gum trees that keep their leaves all the time; they never drop them. So actually, there was something really satisfying for for the art team this time to produce this kind of skeletal um, horizon that you get with all the trees and losing their leaves in winter. It's a, it's a look we've never had in a Horizon game before, which is and I was kind of. Kind of naively at the start of this project, I thought that winter trees would be the easiest because you didn't have to do leaves. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Turns As out, did I. turns out, <laughs> not not in the not the case at all. No, Actually, no, no. performance-wise, much much more yes. difficult. That, that's true. Yeah, that was a surprise to everybody on the art team. <laughs> um, but yes, it turns out that winter trees there they are. They're even more difficult to do. They're a lot more difficult yeah, to do. Yeah, 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 get yeah. all that snow on there, right? Um, there's one thing, because there is so much snow right, in winter, as we've seen. Is there going to be parts of the world that aren't covered in snow, or is it just going to... Totally, yeah, yeah. And I think, I think that's a really important uh, thing for us in not just winter and all the seasons, is making sure that you can do all of the things you want to do in a Horizon game in that season. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that's true of all the seasons. It was probably most challenging to make sure it was, it was true in winter. Um, you know, because obviously snow makes things hard, right? Yeah. You know, frost, ice makes it, it makes it more difficult to drive. What we really didn't want um, to happen uh, was the winter be this big difficulty spike within the game. Um, so we've done a bunch of things uh, to try and avoid that. Um, but one of them is to make sure that there are still, oh, as Andy just destroys a child snowman, <laughs> <laughs> like callously. Um, you know, one of the things is to make sure that there are loads of roads in the, in the world which actually aren't covered in snow that you can still take a hyper car out on yeah, and, yeah. And, and you know not not have a, a terrible accident um so yeah you've got that total range of 
of gameplay, which means I think, you know, as you saw there, we were just driving in the frozen Derwent water. Um, there's probably a greater range of gameplay available in winter than almost there is in any other season. Yeah, so it still suits all those different driving styles that you want to kind of get involved in. Exactly. Uh, there's a few questions from the chat as well. Motorized RC has just asked, how do seasons change? Uh, so that's a good question. The seasons, um, the seasons change weekly for everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, so it depends on whether you're in the game at the time that the season changes uh, or not, how, you, how you'll experience it. Um, if you are, and it is, it's entirely possible that I think most people won't be playing the game at exactly the moment the season changes, uh, because it will change at the same time for absolutely everyone, regardless of time zone. Um, but if you are, then the game will start counting down. It'll be really clear saying that the season's going to change in you know, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, yeah. 1 minute. Um, and then when it does, as long as you're not doing anything, which is to say you're not in the middle of an event, for example, um, we're gonna, uh, we'll, we'll take you out of that, we'll show you a season transition cinematic, uh, and when the game uh, fades back up, you know, 20 seconds or so later, um, you will be in the next season. If you're not in the game when the season changes, um, as I say, it's, it's more likely, um, when you return to the game, you boot it again, you return from suspend, yeah. um, the game will just say, hey, the season's changed, you'll play that, that, that transition cinematic. And you'll just start from where you're going. Straight into it. Yeah. Um, so also one thing to just quickly look at as well is the last last week we took a look at the map uh, very briefly for uh, we did awesome. But we kind of have a quick look at the the map for for winter, uh, which is also we're going to show across all the social channels. So if you look at Twitter for Motorsport or Instagram at Forza Motorsport Official, you can see the full winter map because it has changed quite a lot. Yeah. Um, we're going to go into it now. I think. Quick just, look into. Yeah. Very very quick look. Um, and yeah, like you say, completely changed. So there is a different map screen for, for each of the four seasons. Um, this is obviously the winter one, which has to you know recognize that the lake is frozen and a lot of the other uh, water in the world is frozen as well. It brings in the seasonal championships for, for winter and obviously mm -hmm. removes the ones from, mm -hmm. uh, from autumn. Uh, and then ev everything that sort of comes in just for that specific season, you can see uh, on the map as well, but we'll well, uh, the, like, of it. As, as I said, everyone can go, go check that out on Twitter or Instagram if they kind of want to have a more detailed look at it. Uh, but we're going to say goodbye to you for a little bit. I know you're going to be joining us back in the stream uh, shortly. Uh, but we've still got so much to come up in the stream as well.